What's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a tutorial to show you how you can make it to where you can enter stuff in an Excel table as a form. So to do this, first things first is to make a table. And so first type the headers with the headers being the different fields that you want to be the form. So in this situation, we want to have employees, for example. So you want to have employee name, search state, Department, um, and these are just the examples. Then you're going to have one input, so it's going to put name is going to be Bob. Start date, just one. Department is going to be customer, customer service, and then. So now I'm going to highlight this range, and then I'm going to press Control T. And then, in the, you, yes, you're going to want to have the box click to where, you have, to where the table has headers. Click OK. Now, we're going to want to add the form option into the quick access toolbar right up here. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Options, Quick Access Toolbar. And then we're going to, from the start to menu, we're going to want to go from popular commands to commands not in the ribbon. I'm going to scroll down until we see form. Then we are going to want to add. And then whenever we click OK, as you can see there now is a little there's a form icon right here. Then right here in the quick access toolbar. So now we're going to, want to go highlight our have our cursor in the table and then click the little form icon right here. And then now, as you can see, we have a, we can enter stuff as a form. So the employee name could be Bill. Start date could be 5-1-2021. And department could be department could be management. I'm going to click new. As you can see. The name is now added into the form. We can go here too. If you want something new in the form, we can say um, fired, for example. And as you can see, the table automatically adjusts. And we can click in here as well and then click form again. And you put in as many inputs as you would like um, into the form. So, that being said, I really hope that you found this quick tutorial to be useful, and hopefully, this will help you make Excel sheets that um, fit your needs a little bit better. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Thank you so much. Have a great day.